Hey everybody, what's going on? Rob Sesternino back for a check-in after an amazing finale to the Titans v. Rebels. Uh, so excited to have our chief international survivor correspondent back with us. Shannon, how are you? Rob, I'm great. I'm here for the great Titans v. Rebel quiz of Rob Sesternino. So let's get in, but, but Banu, right? <laughs> Who? I don't know. <laughs> I'm. I'm only. Don't you? You, you want to talk about Banu for a couple of minutes? I think. I don't think people like when we do that. <laughs> no, not not just because of that. I mean, I don't. They don't like when we mix and match. We have to keep our laundry very separate. Yeah. Okay. No. Um. What a exciting conclusion to uh, an incredible season. I got to listen to some of the exit press. I got to listen to uh, some of. You and Nick and Mike talk about this also. Excited to be able to uh, jump in and talk about it all here with you. How are you doing? I'm good. You know, I'm I'm finished Titans v Rebels as a season, but the postseason is just beginning. You know, that's when the real work begins. So we're gonna have deep dives. Excited about that already. How many deep dives? Today. How many deep dives are you doing? Well, now you put me on the spot. Oh, I see how you turned it around. I mean, like, I, I think I just asked a question. I don't think I'm I don't know. Honest. I think I'm still thinking it through. I don't at least what <laughs> at least several at least one. Yeah, no, um, definitely Mark, Kirby, Caroline, Ferris. Mm hmm. A big four. And then like Raymond, Eileen and Eden. I'm thinking wow. about but Ra I just... Raymond and deep dive. People are asking for it. Johnny Fairplay called you himself to ask for <laughs> special his treatment boy. for his son. Um, no, people really are asking for it. Why do you always doubt when I say what people want? You think people don't message me? Do you think these are my burner accounts? Like I don't. I don't know. I don't know what goes on in these Australian Survivor no. streets. No, no, no. People, people are that are interested asking. in Raymond. Yeah, I just want to give the people what they want, Rob. I'm a public servant. Mm -hmm. I guess. <laughs> I'm just doing it for the people. A first responder, I think, is the <laughs> correct term. Yeah, so I, I mean, that doesn't make as much sense, but I, um, yeah, I'm trying. People want it. Well, mm -hmm. like maybe, maybe Raymond and I we don't do a deep dive, but maybe we like hit some highlights. You know, we, we mm -hmm. Raymond it. Do it a bit, <laughs> bit off kilter, which is the Raymond way in a really fun way. Maybe we do that. Mm -hmm. I was thinking these things through pretty internally, and now the production meeting is happening as always. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. Well. Shannon, you, you've, uh, you know, already covered this uh, pretty extensively. Uh, oh, three hours with Nick and Mike. W where do you want to uh, pick things up? My, Rob, I, um, I want to start week one and just start jotting down what you remember. No, I, um, did you listen to the Drafters podcast by chance? I did not get a chance okay. to listen to uh, that podcast. What, is there something um, no. important that happened I just, from that podcast? I, I mean, a lot of important things happened, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I won a draft, technically, in a team with Puya. We had Ferris. Yes. What about um, our draft? I didn't win that. I think I had Kirby. I think you yes, had yes. Yeah. I that you took Kirby well, number one. You wrote one. that down. And you just had it I kept. You. I, I kept the uh, that, like how the sausage gets made. Yeah. Yeah. So you had Ferris. Okay. So I won a draft. I lost a draft. It really. Well, you win some, you lose some. Yeah. Literally, that that happened. If you if you're in enough drafts, you can hedge yeah. all your bets. So that's yes. what happened. Okay. Yeah. Um. Well. Anyway. Well, well. I guess let me. I have not gotten the chance to give my thoughts on it. But really. Yes, exactly. Um. You know. Congratulations to Ferris. Uh. Really. Really. Uh. Great winner. Very happy for him. Seems like a, a great guy. I. I did think coming into the finale. I thought Mark had it. Winnipeg. Uh, yeah, close. I was I was close, but I really did think that Mark was like I, I really felt like that the week the narrative of the week uh, this final week was going to be that okay, Ferris blew it, he took out Kirby, and uh, he made a mistake, and it really felt like that at that final four episode uh, where ultimately Raymond went home, I, I had felt like okay. The, the narrative had turned. Mark was heating up. And here comes, you know, uh, Mark ultimately to... Now, I did not know it was a final two until late in the game. I, I don't know at what point, like, if it ever was set on screen that it would be a final two. But I, I really thought that this was going to be a final three. And then I kind of thought that maybe 
bitter jury combined with Mark rattling off like the last three immunities. I really thought we were headed towards a Mark uh, victory. Um, great job by Ferris winning the incredible final immunity Ferris. challenge. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess my hottest take was that I kind of wanted to see the final three. Wrong. I thought it was kind I'm of a so buzzkill. I thought Gosh. it was a buzzkill. I, I know you were going to say that, but like, is it possible? Is it possible? Final three is better than final two. No, no, it's not possible. It's a horrible take. You should feel bad about it. I don't. I, I know people say like, oh yeah, you say final three because you want because you want it to be in the final three. It wasn't even invented. I, <laughs> no, I didn't even think about wait, that. Who would say I, that? Who would yeah. even? I don't. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> that's I know that's not what silly. you're saying. Yeah. Somebody, somebody said that. But <laughs> yeah, well, that was no, a dumb um, I just feel like that. Um, so that you the, can retroactively think you would have won. The nine zero <laughs> final tribal council had no juice. And I know it was the journey and not the destination, but yeah. it just was like a, a little anticlimactic that final hour. Do you remember the vote count from last season? This is the quiz. No, you don't. Do you remember who won last season? What was her Tri name? Liz, was, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yes. I don't want to get you canceled. Liz beat Matt and Jerry final three unanimous. Not yeah. a ton of juice either. And the season before that, which you did not get to the finale of, and as you shouldn't have, mm -hmm. unanimous final three. So we've had now two unanimous final threes. Of Those are the only final threes we've had in Australian Survivor. Yeah. We've had two unanimous final twos and many other non-unanimous final twos. Mm -hmm. And I know that there's, there's a lot of other data points because we have US Survivor, we have all of Global Survivor. I was looking at this based on your tweet and I don't, I don't think that final threes are more competitive. We have competitive final twos. We have some competitive... Yeah two of final threes. I think that obviously there's more scope in a final three, but also there's two points of, of a final two. If there's a final three, you're more likely possibly to get that like big target. So they might wipe the floor. And I also think that the like best of kind of idea, I've got to vote for like the best of the three rather than the this person versus this binary kind of final mm -hmm. two thing can also lead to sweep. So I don't think it makes it more competitive. I think it's probably even if not, Maybe final twos in that kind of battle, like yeah. pick your fighter kind of final two might be a little bit more competitive. And I think that the data backs that up. So from a competitive standpoint, I think it's really just cast based and it's just situational. Yeah. I mean, look, I hear final two. My eyes, uh, or my, I, I guess my ears perked up more than my eyes, uh, but How my ears perked up. up look? Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, final two. What's that? Makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, I'm excited, but then in practice, I'm like, are we sure this is great? The final two? Yes. Yes. It makes an interesting end game. It makes the decisions at the final four yeah. interesting, at final five, at final four. And it means that anyone can win. And some people don't like that. That's why they made a final three, so that specific bigger kind of targets can win. But the purity of that anyone can win, sometimes there are results you like less. And sometimes it, it also means that like the game is so yeah. even. Yes. I will, well, I will defend it to my dying. Why, why couldn't Kitty give Caroline a vote? Yeah, What's her question. problem? I know. It's so upsetting. You could give her one vote? Yeah. Yeah. She loves Ferris that much or she hated Caroline? I think he was impressed with Ferris. I, I, I have no be idea. Honest. I got to be honest. I only made it. Uh, I didn't make it all the way through. Yeah, uh, we, we, we ran. Oh, I, thought, I thought you were going to say to the end of our recap. You said, well, Kitty obviously couldn't talk about her, her vote, but we can get it in the six-hour Kitty deep dive. Um, which would have to go on some other network because there would be a lot of F-bombs. Kitty swore a lot in her, yes. in her exit interview. Um, yeah, it was painful. I, so you really think you, you're you really so down on one final two being unanimous when we watch final three after no, final I, three I just think being it's one worth vote exploring. in the new era? You know, the, my favorite idea that I heard about this is like, it'd be great if there would be some way to sort of like have, you know, get it down to three and then, you know, there's some way that the jury can just like eliminate the zero vote finalist and put I them on the jury before the final two. That's so overcomplicated. Like, it's fine for, I mean, I hate when people get zero votes. So maybe just to protect that because it, I honestly, it. it doesn't bother me, but it seems to bother a lot of people. It bothers me that it, it, it is upsetting, but like, is being voted out by the jury so much more dignified? Um, I think that's it. We don't need to overcomplicate it. It's like the US Survivor auction. The game was pure and perfect. Final twos, and yes, you lose some legends number three and maybe that's why you don't like it Rob. that's but it's not <laughs> there has nothing to do with it i just uh, <laughs> like i i just thought that like oh i really would wanted to see like i thought ferris should have won against mark but i just thought that that would have been like uh you know 
I, I thought it would have been at least like um, Mark would have given like a run for his money to Ferris. Like I thought that Mark really did such a good job. What was it at the final four tribal council where it was really trying to call Ferris out on some different things. And then, and then I thought that, you know, Caroline versus Ferris, like wasn't really a fair fight in the final tribal council. It wasn't, but it, it's what led to some of those interesting. With decisions. all due respect to Caroline, who did yeah. a who did a good job, yeah, it was but a spot. I, yeah. I just like I I would have liked to have seen you know uh, Ferris go go up against Mark in the Tribal Council. Nah, for me, it's all about the decisions that lead to a really really tough final three challenge, so yep. iconic in U.S. Survivor what it was and what now is Australian Survivor leading to a binary final two. It's the game at its purest. It's as it should be. And I love it so much. And I didn't think we'd get it again. And I'm very, very pleased. And it, and it just means that when someone like Ferris gets through to a final two, like he had to put in that extra effort to win the challenge. Like, you know, Tony had to convince Wu all these other things when these big threats could get taken out. I hate to bring it up again, but when they could get taken out, it's so painful, but then they make it through. Mm -hmm. That's really cathartic as well. So yeah, I just think that it gives it it just gives so much. And I'm so happy that we have yeah. it. I yeah. I mean, just the final three without the final four fire making, I think I would sign up for that oh, immediately. Me too. Like, yeah. Look, Vegas can't be choosers. <laughs> There's a lot of things I take. Rob, um, the question of the hour. Yes. You watch both seasons and you remember much of them. Heroes versus villains versus titans versus rebels. Yeah. Pick a pick your fighter. Pick your fighter. So um, I, I heard you and Mike and Nick having uh, this discussion. Yeah, I, I think that probably this was better. I, I think that this was probably more even across uh, the way. I do feel like that maybe the first half of Heroes versus Villains might have been better, but I do think that the the second half of yeah. uh, the Heroes versus Villains, I do, do think lost a lot of steam uh, that there was the, uh, as you all referenced the non-elimination of like Nina go sit in time out for a day. And so that there were, you know, it was, it was, uh, you know, George, I think is great TV always, but I like, I felt like that it just got a little sleepy towards the end. Yeah. That's what you felt as well. I think and this had the fun. better winner and more exciting, um, you know, uh, end game fire end game. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think you, you you said about brains versus brawn um, when we covered that. You felt that there it was the same thing where it had a stronger finish than heroes versus villains. Um, so you've seen some some good U.S. Um, Australian survivor in the last year. Um, so yeah, I mean, you feel good about Ferris as a winner. Was that like the person you were kind of rooting for going through, or you you wanted Mark? Or I mean, it's you? easy to root for Ferris. You know that. Australian Survivor, I've never complained about how they really like you're going to get to really know your favorites on Australian Survivor. I, I personally, I think it's fine. I know for the contestants, like everybody you like, hey, why are, aren't I being seen as much as these people? It's never bothered me ever that the more entertaining people get the lion's share of the screen time. Like, I do believe it's a meritocracy of like, if you want more screen time, go out there and be more interesting. And so I don't think it's necessarily like uh, like a socialist type of situation of everybody needs to get, you know, 17 confessionals each. And that's the season, you know, you were in the ground floor of that, by the way. I remember you saying that in our 2019 podcast. I think you were the first person I ever heard say that where you were like, I don't care. I'm happy for there to be protagonists and side characters. And I feel like that that mentality has definitely, you know, gotten more popular in the last few years, but I really think you were the first one. Well, I ever U.S. Survivor has really gone out of their way to try to like, okay, we're, we're trying to make it more equal and we're not, uh, you know, we're really trying to like uh, make sure everybody gets a thing, which is a nice concept, but I think in practice, you know, no other form of media <laughs> does it that way. It's not like, you know, in sports, every player gets covered as much as the stars or in a movie, like every, every person in the movie needs to have the same amount of lines. Every Avenger or a play or anything like so. Why is this the one thing where it has to be where it's like okay, you know, we're going to like uh, cut the slice of pizza evenly, and everybody has to get exactly the same amount of airtime. Damn, when you say it like that, you make a lot of sense. I, I don't, I don't think that there's, I don't have a rebuttal. I guess it's because like they're human beings, you know. They're human beings, yes, but they all signed <laughs> up for a thing. They all signed up for this. <laughs> It's, it's a really good argument. I mean, even look, the, the human beings and the plays and the movies are still actors, you know, who are also giving up their time to be there. So I guess what you're saying is life's not even. Like life's, 
Yeah. It's it, it's not we want it to be and we like you know we don't want to like misrepresent people but we also you know want to, we have also a, a duty to the viewers to yeah, entertain them. The other thing has always been like for winner you know choices of who can still win and stuff like from the game aspect more than the TV aspect like that's something for me as a viewer that's like okay you've ruled this person out which is definitely more gamey than production or thinking about it certainly in mm -hmm. Australian Survivor and possibly in US Survivor as well. I don't know if that's why they're doing this from like a winner edit perspective, but you might, it, the juice might not be worth the squeeze at that point. If it's like, I mean, they don't care about us and our winner picks. Like they want the casuals to keep watching instead of Married at First Sight. Yeah. And a lot of people are watching Married they at First Sight. They want your parents to love Ferris more than and they love oh, you. No. Do you want to see a photo of my parents with Ferris? They, why do my parents have a photo with Ferris and I don't have a photo with Ferris? They love him. It's so cute. And yeah, He's they were easy to love. Him. He's so easy to root for. Love. He is. And um, yeah, I mean, for what they're trying to do for a broader audience, it's working and it's clearly got the super fans too. So hard to knock it. Might 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 have made more sense. You know, sometimes you do something because you've always done it. You know what I'm saying? And then you think like, mm -hmm. why are we doing that? Now, I do like quite even edits. And the, and the point should be that you cast well enough that you can give a pretty even edit and everyone's going to be so entertained. Yeah. But if people start like really getting ahead and you have Kirby and Ferris type entertainment players that is that magnetic and also in such a big cast of Australian Survivor which is so different where you can't be so even and you will overwhelm the audience to extremes I think that, yeah. that, that also has to be considered they did like, a really good job understand. this season yeah. they, it they, was they great really storytelling because that's yeah. what you said about Mark as well like you thought he was going to win I'm like yeah because the storytelling in this edit was so good that then they they built Mark up to be like a really yeah. reasonable other option so in my head I was building up this story where okay we were going to have okay that, that Ferris pulled the trigger too early on Kirby that he had made he had made this big mistake and the irony of all ironies that Ferris is this had been the story of Ferris and Kirby all season long. And then Ferris turned his back on Kirby survives. only to only to let yeah. the other yeah. dysfunctional pair of Mark and Caroline yeah. <laughs> pass him by to ultimately let Mark be the winner of the season. And I was like, wow, what a, this is going to be like this. Uh, you know, I, I thought Ferris will be like, OK, the star of the season, but ultimately ended up having this move. I thought it would be sort of like a Jesse and Cody type situation yeah, where, okay, we talk about well, it. yeah. And I thought that that was a great guess that you had a couple of weeks ago to talk about all this. Um, but, you know, I ultimately I'm, I'm very, very happy for uh, Ferris. I just like was to, to me, I, I, I was like, uh, like writing this story and then to have Mark not even in the final three was like, a, you know, a disappointing outcome. I'm like, all right, well, you could turn this off now. There's no way that, Caroline is going to beat Ferris in the final two. Yeah, I mean, he won it halfway through the finale, but, it, you know, mm -hmm. that was very difficult to do. Did you feel like in the moment, so you felt like he screwed up by getting rid of Kirby? I kind of did. I mean, I, I didn't think he would beat Kirby, but I did feel like that it was going to potentially come back to bite him, um, especially when Raymond ended up going out, where it was like, okay, now, like, things have really seemed to have gone against, uh, you know, where where Ferris was going, but you know, he would not have beaten Kirby. I, I do not think so. No. I think that she would have won in a runaway. So he did what he had to do. Yeah. And like, look, you can say that things weren't going as they should have because Raymond goes out. Like he still made it to the final three. Like he's still just one challenge away at that point and not against Kirby who at that point was like the physical threat. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't going so poorly. Like, yeah, I mean, he had, he had to win, but he had to win in a fairly even field and he, he pushed himself and he executed. So I think that, yeah, I think he had enough at the point where like Raymond's going and fire at four instead of him. Um, yeah. yeah, he had enough runway without Kirby, but yeah. But it's so do you felt like this was a good ending to the season. It's what it, it, what it's what it needed. I mean, it was a great ending for the, the story all along of Ferris and Kirby that so interesting as a duo. Like, I feel like that it's such a great counterpoint to so much of, um, and you know, it's hard for me to talk about this and not talk about like the U S survivor also, but we, you know, we have people and, and I guess that like we had this, um, in the pre-merge of this season where fair that, you know, Kirby is telling people we can't trust Ferris, um, from early on in the season, but somehow they made it work and they stuck together. And I think that had Ferris or had Kirby gotten rid of Ferris early on or vice versa, I don't think either of them would have gotten to this point. And I think that there is a value that people seem to like not realize of, yes, I could lose to this person, but 
I also won't get to the end if I start to take out my closely aligned allies who are, it's a little redundant, um, that, but that are also threats. You don't have to necessarily, you know, take them out uh, as soon as you can because, oh, there could, they could be a threat in the end of the game. You could also work with the other threats to get to the end and not let all of the misfits get to the final five. I think that's especially important in Australian Survivor that is so long where we often see the misfits take out and like the long middle game, the big threats. And yeah. I think they both gain so much by having each other and by prioritizing each other at different points. Um, they, you know, just the protection, the insulation, the shielding that they had, like it got them to where they were, it got Ferris to a win and it got Kirby to a point where she was, you know, mm. a couple of challenges from winning the game as well. So, which with her threat level is amazing. Like I do, I see people be like, well, why didn't Kirby take Ferris out of that? Like, are you joking? Like she gained so much, like that was really creative and it works so well. Yeah. Like incredibly well. So and the yeah. fact that they were like frenemies, the other people were like falling over themselves to try to like, okay, well, like, will you go with us to like take out like Kirby's people? And so they got like a lot of information out of that. That's sort of like the uneasy truce between them. But at the end of the day, they always came back together and credit to Ferris of like when Eileen got voted out that he could have like lost his, you know what? And then gone after like on a revenge tour. He's like, all right, she was the wedge. She was the problem. Let's just make it work. So they were, you know, uh, friendship goals, alliance goals, very uh, Ferris and Kirby. Yeah, they were great. Do you have like hot takes on like favorites or moments or like, like let's look at the retrospective according to you, things that you remember, what stands out to you about this season? Is this too what much for you? <laughs> That's a lot. It's, it's a lot. No, this is good. This like... is good. This is, this is a casual viewpoint. And now we know. Yeah. What What do you remember? In terms of my uh, favorites or or not favorites, um, you know, we didn't get to talk last week. Um, that last week I thought was kind of like maybe the slowest week of the, uh, what was it? The Alex, Rihanna, Kitty week, right? You did it. Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, I did. I love the episode where Alex won the reward and then was like, okay, I'm going to take, uh, and what did he take? Like, uh, Kirby, Kirby and Caroline Ray and Caroline. Yeah. And Caroline. Yeah. He took them on the reward and then he was like, all right, I'm going to like make this new Alliance here. And when he is in the shower and he, and he's shaving his chest and talking to everybody about, here's what the plan is. Um, I, I love that so much. Yeah. You know what? It's sad for Alex because I think he, like no one will ever, like everyone will always remember the, the chest shaving now. Like he is synonymous with the chest shaving. And that was in his last episode. Like he almost got out of survival without being chest shaving guy. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately at the final hurdle within the last like 30 minutes of his content, that became his entire character type and we will never forget it. So never, I'll never forget that ever in my <laughs> entire life. You think so? I'm going to ask you next year. I'll, I'll always remember that because, um, and uh, is this is this TMI? Because uh, I am not no. a chest shaver. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, that's fine. But I think if I was a chest shaver, I think yeah. I would want to be like in mm. complete privacy. I, I would. I, I think I would want to be like. I, I'm gonna go out of my way. Like, uh, hey, uh, does anybody know the song Penny Lane? Here it goes. And then I would uh, <laughs> then begin to sing uh, multiple, like, you know, millions of dollars of uh, licensing fees to air the segment of me shaving my chest on the show. And then I wouldn't have it like a strategy talk. Yeah. At the but time his, that I was his doing chest it. is so smooth, right? So we know it has to get to that state. Yeah. So how do we think, do we think it was just naturally hairless or like, do we know that he shaves, but we don't want to see it. In I front don't know. I mean, not, I, I don't, not here to objectify the contestants, but yeah, I mean that there were other, other people that I'm like, uh, boy, this person seems like uh, has has, has a, a very, you know, stout beard, but it seems the rest of his body seems very hairless. How does that even work? I don't know. Now you know. He gave people a pretty bad lesson in some pretty violent shaving. So yeah, you, you're right. You, the, the Penny Lane difference. So that's like if you do that, they obviously can't show it. I stole that from Penny. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> um, when he was like, he didn't want what what when they were like when Dana felt bad. 
So he, <laughs> Something, like, yeah. yeah, so he was singing Beatles songs so they don't have the licensing. But Alex did the opposite of that. He was like, yeah. they have to show me shaving my chest because this is quite an important strategic conversation. <laughs> yes. Like, yeah. even if they don't want to show that, they are forced to. Like, they could have put a black box over what was going on, just like a floating. Oh, I think if they put a black box, I think I would. I, I would. I, I would have many questions about what was going on. I can't hear the strategy conversation. I only have questions about the box. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what they could have blurred it. But, but then, like the juxtaposition of like Kirby's reaction to that, they're like, "Is he serious? Is he real?" <laughs> like it, yeah. it was just so, it was so great. It was, it was just, it was quite. That was my silent. my favorite moment from uh, last week. I, I feel like I thought you were going to mention from a couple of weeks ago, like like the blind side on Jack, which I thought was just like so intense. But I don't think we got the to blind that. side on Jack. No, Jack was a person in the season. Yeah, Jack. No, no, you're you're making that up. There's no. Yeah, how did you yeah. know? Well, I, I, I watched the show. Like, you, I know. But you think that you, you don't? <laughs> Damn it! The draft just put me up to it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not like senile. Um, I well, like, you the draft is a talking. We kind of act like anyway. Yeah, so. you can't tell me like people that like were in. I watched every episode. Like I paid attention. Yeah, but if I say the name to bias to you. Yeah, that's where it gets a little fuzzy. Like I, yeah. the, I, I recall the name, but the, he was like in the cuddle crew, right? Yeah. Can you name yeah. the women from the cuddle crew, Rob? Sarah I mean, was one, right? She was the firefighter. Yeah, yeah she was. And, oh, was Riri prepared, in too? the cuddle crew? Um, she was adjacent. She actually told me she would have preferred to be with them, but she wasn't. No, that's not the fourth person. There was a fourth person, and I told you two weeks ago what the name was, and I gave you an mnemonic device. Was that pretty Jack? Much. Yeah. That was yeah, Jackie. No, and I gave you a way to remember, not a mnemonic device, but a way to remember the name of the woman in the cuddle crew, Alex's partner in that, the Barbie to his Ken. Barbie. Um, the, they are. <laughs> I, I thought, you know, look, that I, I remember all the important stuff. I told you two okay? weeks ago. It was Peter. Um, I told you, Peter. I like my, like that's in how the Hunger do. Games. No, like my husband. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Why would you do you remember my husband's name? We're yes. hanging out fairly soon. Yes. I um okay, not my with all anyway. My point is, Rob, who else can I can you can you name the first boot? Um I remember I remember I can describe her. I I I no, could not I, I, I could not remember. She was the she was the business owner who was like uh she came in and she was like the alpha and um I, I, I also described her so but that's how Chappelle described her. That's not no, how Chappelle, Chappelle... Chappelle went pretty physical. It's, it's not what you did. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's not my thing. No, I didn't think it would be, but it was just the yeah. juxtaposition was funny. Yeah. Compared to, yeah, we went around and around. I, um, was, well, yeah. Yeah. What, what was her name? Frankie. Frankie. Okay. Would not have gotten that in a hundred years, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I remember her. I remember her with, with Nate, Nate was the, was the guy with the Dodgers jacket. I was happy to see the Dodgers jacket survived oh, all the, the way jacket. to the Yeah. The, the jacket was, I would say the 25th member of the cast, but on edit, yeah. you know, maybe. Wild like, that Ferris seconds. became the <laughs> recipient of the Dodgers jacket. Can Sam send a cast photo right now? I want to see who you who you can pick out of the lineup. Um, yeah, Ferris, Ferris ended up with it, but the jacket was iconic. Yeah. The jacket was like that's a memorable piece of clothing. Yeah, I think I could probably name at least eighteen out of twenty four. Which is what we did in Brain Braun. Do you want it? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know how fun that's going to be. Like, it I, was I don't really remember, fun last time. But you I don't already remember some of the one. you know the zeros from the Cuddle Crew and stuff like that. It was just yeah, Peter and Tobias, and you got Sarah. The Cuddle mm -hmm. Crew was only four people. That was famously they didn't have a majority. Yeah. Yeah. But I I remember you know I think most of the uh, I think all the Titans. Okay. All right, so bring up the picture. Bring up, all right, bring up, bring up the picture. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, this is a very I gotta like blow up my screen to see if like I can do it. This all is right. very content. This is okay. what people want. All right, from from left to right. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's uh, Alex. Yeah, Charles. Oh, you got Charles. Okay. You're um, nice that's stuff. one of the one of the cuddle crew people. Uh, Sarah. Is that Sarah? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's the aforementioned Frankie. Mm -hmm. Eden. Yeah. Is that Rihanna? You think that's Rihanna? She only went home last week. I, you know look, that's not her. Okay, look, I, that might be a blur issue. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, well, who is that? Who is that then? You can do it, Rob. I, I've no. I, I've never seen this person in my life. You have. I promise you have. She Brunette, was there with Frankie with, with a floppy hat. 
Yeah, a lot of them have ads. Um, that's not the identifying feature. Don't All you right. remember the first week? Let's think back. Titans Beach. Oh, and someone yeah. You know, I totally forgot about the that. Yeah, the, yeah the, she was the mastermind. I, oh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've passed. I've Done. Okay, that's Jess. the person I... Yeah, Jess. Okay. All right. And then... Uh, okay, so this is... Uh, put the cursor on people. Okay, Caroline. Yeah. Okay. My queen Kelly, or uh, then uh, is uh, is down below. That's, that's not where the cursor was. So okay, I'm oh, sorry. Ray, uh, <laughs> yeah. Everybody doesn't love Raymond. Okay, Kitty, yeah. Winner. Okay, Riri. That Nate. one's Ray. Yeah. Okay. Is any brunette is Ray. Okay, no, but she is Ray. Every 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 brunette, <laughs> every Australian brunette is a Rihanna. Okay. Garrick. Yeah. Uh, uh Valeria. Yeah. Uh, the well, other other Viola, I the, the other, as I say, the other V, Viola, yeah. Nate, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Mark, yeah, Kirby, yeah, Young Ferris, yeah. Um, hmm, is this is this the other cuddle crew person? Who is this other? And other what is that person's woman? name? Blonde woman. Oh, oh that, that's Peter. Yeah, I'm like, can you remember Peter from two minutes? Ago? Okay. Yeah. Uh, the great Eileen and uh, Tobias. Yeah, which you wouldn't. Tobias is, another, is the one. Is there another person that got cut out of this? Like, is there what a is person it? there? Yeah, like, it's like uh, how many people are in this photo? Is that? Is that but on the right? Is that? A, is that another shirt? Is that like a yeah, rock over really there? Is. Looks like there's like a person that got cropped out of the photo. Okay. I think there is someone there that we're missing. Is oh. that JLP? Who? <laughs> Who did I skip somebody? <laughs> yeah. I did. Oh there where? Is, oh where is is, is is it where that uh, it, what is it Jaden's not in the picture? Yeah. yeah. Is, not on purpose. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Was he not there that day? What happened? No, I think he's got caught propped out. Like I need to Google the Sam, photo. come on. <laughs> Did you do that? Rude. Are you are you trolling? Yeah. Like, um yeah. That's not that's not our fault. That's we're not that's not Yeah, that was uh, Sam Moore. Yeah. If you want to okay. come for anyone, um yeah, he is. He got caught mm -hmm. out. It's empty. It's empty I don't know. He said yeah. that's just a pick from Google. Well, tell that to Google. Anyway, yeah. Rob, well done to you. You watched. Yeah, the I season. mean, look, I that I think that was pretty good for that somebody was, who is like covering the show professionally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, this is not I'm not, like I mean, you put up these Survivor casts from the U.S. Survivor. I mean, pr pretty much I. D like, uh, do not test me on like the Survivor Forty One cast or something like that. Do it, Sam. Like, get the get the pickup right now. <laughs> get it up. I think I could. I think I could. But but that's not. That's you not what we're here to do. You want a focal quiz of every single name in yeah. U.S. Survivor? Yeah. What that was, but that was like coming off of like the top forty countdown. It was very impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I um, could do that for Australian, at, at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. Okay. Should we do it now? No. Should we be doing sporkle quizzes? Every is there a sporkle quiz about Australian Survivor? I don't know. I haven't done sporkle in so many years, but it does bring me back. Mm -hmm. I was doing a lot of sporkle a few years ago. Yeah. Before I started podcasting. Shannon, I, what's um, yeah. that? Um, let me okay, let's let's get back <laughs> bring, bring get back on track here. We're on track. Um, is Australian Survivor are they are they sticking with one time a year? As far as I'm aware, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Do you think that doing it once a year helps Australian Survivor as opposed to where uh, in the U.S. Survivor, they basically are doing, you know, two seasons in, in basically the same amount of time as uh, one season of Australian Survivor. Yeah, but so does I'm trying to think, does America have a lot of shows that air twice a year or is that kind of like just Survivor and it's like because it's 13 episodes? So it's basically like, you know, half a season. Well, each. I, I think you'd have to like compare it to other reality, reality yeah. genres. And so that, but they're also different. Yeah, there's a lot like, of like The Bachelor. Yeah, oh, I guess not because it's Bachelor, Bachelorette, and Bachelor in Paris. The, I think they are like almost uh, the Bachelor. Yeah, the Bachelor. They have like a yearly cycle of a they Bachelor, do. Bachelorette, I'm a Bachelor in Paradise. Behind, yeah, but, yeah. Because because we don't do anything like really twice a year. I mean, we do it once a year, but we do it you know for a hundred hours, mm -hmm. and then everyone just like takes a collective breath for nine months. We come back, you know. So we don't. So it would be quite unique. It would be very much you know following a global model. Um, I think it's just like you know, ten is just trying to get the most 
eyes on screens and bang for their buck. And and you know, Survivor does well. They put it up against Married at First Sight. They clearly have faith in it. But the other spot where it would go, I think now MasterChef goes, and MasterChef does like very very well. So mm-hmm. then, like, where's the other spot where Survivor would go? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. There's been so much acclaim for Australian Survivor in the U.S audience uh really i think the fervor for australian survivor is higher now uh than Uh it's ever been does that and that have you noticed that shannon i've noticed it i don't like it i mean i love it i'm so proud but i'm also like uh we feel so exposed it's Mm -hmm. like the eyes of the world are on us what if we have another blood versus water type season although i don't think we will i think production really know what they're doing but i did i um I watched your club condo thing where you were talking about Australian Survivor and I liked your little quips. I liked, um, you know, in 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 US Survivor, we got extended to 90 minutes and Australian Survivor, they sometimes do a shorter episode of 90 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's that. Be real. That, in, the ta- in the tale of the tape, I said that, uh, that the US Survivor is 26 days and Australian Survivor is 26 episodes. Yeah, 26 days to watch it if you start from <laughs> beginning to end, if you're binging it, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's ill timed, I, I would say, for yeah. the U.S. Survivor to uh, for the Australian Survivor to be on right now and to be this good, and then to have uh, you know a sluggish start to Survivor Forty Six. I do that. I, I am probably more bullish on Survivor Forty Six, like uh, picking up from here. That I I do think that uh, the you know Banu storyline I think did overwhelm the show, um, whereas and as much as I'm saying that I am in favor of uneven uh, editing, like I think that even this was too much of one thing uh, for me on U.S. Survivor, and but I do think that now with that out of the way, I do think that there's an opportunity. So I think that this is like the absolute nadir of Survivor 46, not the nasir of Survivor 41. Which is someone you could pick out of the lineup, apparently. Certainly. Which we're gonna do, Sam. Certainly. Get the photo. No, I um. No, it was just ill time. But I honestly, I feel like that this happened last year too, where that Survivor uh, Heroes versus Villains was on at the point where people were the most down about Survivor Forty Four, and then after like uh you know a sluggish start, like that season also picked up and got more exciting. So I, I am I am hopeful for a similar trajectory for Survivor Forty Six. It's just really hard. I mean, I know that we like, we all like revert to first thing we do is like compare these franchises. That's what this check-in has been largely based on. The first thing you you did was compare them Mm -hmm. and we're going to do that. They're just, they're such different beasts, but I do understand it because I do think most of what Australian Survivor does so well is taken from the glory days of US Survivor. So it's hard not to compare because we're not comparing it to some magical other different thing, even though in many ways it is because of the runtime and definitely the editing style that kind of stuff is unique to us but like the idea of like they're in two tribes and they swap and that's been a big thing about u.s mm-hmm. survivors like why aren't we doing that so we did like, swap it, last season on u.s survivor yeah, and it was great mm-hmm. it was really really fun um <laughs> where is my swap i um i missed that swap but i yeah and it works so well so it's like u.s survivor this used to be you like we're you know we're comparing to a version of yourself mm-hmm. but like a but then a distorted mirror image version of that that australian survivor has become. yeah but-, but if people are really down on u.s survivor that instead of australian survivor they should watch survivor uk and then they'll feel better about u.s survivor i like survivor uk you were <laughs> wrong about that too it was fine it was slow but it, it picked up and it was fun they should watch survivor south africa or they should watch old seasons of australian survivor it's all there Mm-hmm. So I'm actually plugging things for real now, but um, yeah, look, I wouldn't want to be compared to the season of Australian Survivor. Some people are saying it's one of the best seasons, like the best season of all time. Who said like his favorite season of all time? And I don't know yeah. that that's changed in the last week. I think maybe only it's gotten better. What? Well, where would you rank it? Who would you? Where for you? I know well, I'm pretty productive, but yeah, it's it's hard for me. Yeah. It's hard for me to like really, especially to rank. Um, I, I guess I can rank it against the other Australian Survivor seasons, and I guess uh, for me, is this the best Australian Survivor season? I'd say probably. Yeah, I you haven't so. seen 2017. I've seen, but I've seen most of it. Did you? Yeah, I've watched it. Um, like you know, I watched some of it in the real time and some of it like weeks later. Sam, get the cast pick up. <laughs> You'd be able to name one person. <laughs> I could name. <laughs> I think I could name a, a more than a few. That's true. You can name the many returnees from from twenty seventeen. Well, mm-hmm. not that you watched All Stars, but 
I yeah. again, I did. Yeah. I, I, check the archives. I've podcast with, uh, a, along the way on that. Yeah, but what week? What I mean, I think I kept I, I kept up to it, uh, like probably towards the merge. Really? And the merge was so good, you stopped. Okay, it's really so. This is back to my googling days. All this was when was when Nick and David came back. Yeah. Mm hmm. That one you did with me, yeah, just the week one. I think you need, but but twenty seventeen. Yeah, but I think I was, uh, you know, interested enough to see how Nick was going to do that. I watched uh, further into the season. All right, fair enough. But I also, but no, but for twenty seventeen, I I can't see any of, I can't see you here at all. I don't know. I'm if seeing I did a lot a of our more recent. I'm not stuff. sure if I did a podcast because Nick was like really firing on all cylinders. I think at that time. I even did a podcast. It was one of my <laughs> <first podcasts>. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have space for you, Rob. But we're bringing in this no name intern. Um, mm -hmm. You want to bring up the tw the Australian Survivor 2017 cast? Yeah, I really, really do, Sam. I really, yeah. really do. I'm really excited about it. We'll wait for Sam to get that. He's not just going to instantly be. But yeah, well, 2017 because mm -hmm. okay, but you don't remember that season, but. I think I, that I, re I remember some things. You barely remember this season, Rob. The, you're, what? What is this? I'm not you, but what is this? Like, I, I think I, probably I remember as you much as like the volume. average listener to this podcast. Mm, I don't think so. I think you remember as much as like my parents, but not like the average listener. Although the my dad average listener of this podcast, no, like uh, oh, yes, yes, and Tobias. My listeners are very, very intelligent, Rob. Mm -hmm. you don't even know. But not that you're not. I'm just saying that, like, you couldn't name much of the first week of Boots. Like, you do want I, me to, I, you I have to you... remember 24 people's names to enjoy a, sh a series of reality I, TV? I'm just saying, if you can't remember that, the odds that you remember 2017. Did, are did you give Puya the same quiz that it's his favorite season of reality TV ever and he could tell you who, who Jess and Frankie are? He wants Frankie to come back. That was his pick to come back. Mm hmm. Which I thought was kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. But I think that's well, he got to hear what Chappelle said. I didn't even get to hear that. Well, it's it's a widely available. Um, mm -hmm. Sam, where is the cast picture? I really want to do the quiz. Okay, here. Um, okay, great. All right, and then we'll and then we'll wrap this up. No, we won't. We'll do another cast <laughs> picture from another season of Australian Survivor. Okay. We'll All do right. Crazy Born. We'll do Heroes Villains. This could be. A we got we got to save some stuff for next season. Okay. No, we don't. This is the last All right. one. Let's do All right. Of them right now. Here we okay. go. All right, got to zoom in on this. Okay. Well, some of the instantly people, instantly have regretting on. this. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right. What what's the what's the over under here? Um, five. Okay. If five. That. Okay. All right. Can I get? Can we zoom in? Can we zoom in a little bit more? Honestly, not like not a. Some of these people, I think I might struggle now. I get. I okay. Do Let's do it right now. All right. You know. Uh, gonna... First guy, that he's a producer, right? Second boot. So there's no okay. way. All right. Pass. Yeah, is that is that Sarah? Is that the second? Person? No way! You remember this Sarah better than this season, Sarah? But I'm mean, yes, she, yes. Like, I mean, she's wow. One, where's okay. the bell? Okay. Um, boy, this person is uh, is often a guest Who? of yours. Uh, this next this next person, right? No, no. with the glasses. No, no. I think you Pass. might be, you know. Conflating him with other okay. words that come up. Uh, I believe we have Locky. Yes, the bachelor. He just had a baby. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is a uh, future Max Dawson. Uh, what's his? Is is this a, do is, is this a mark? Um, no. Yes, but no. Like he has a very famous nickname. He goes <laughs> by Mark. But the fact that you think he's is 100% ding the bell, Rob. Ding the bell. And what's, his name? what's his What's his name? What was his Tarzan. <laughs> I have to check that it's actually Mark, but if it is, which that can only be luck because no one's ever called him Mark. Like it is Mark. Even I had to double check. Mm -hmm. He was yeah. on next future season two, but like how how you're on three? I think you're okay. gonna, you gonna be on the over. How did you know? Okay. Are you, um, like are you looking at Wikipedia pages? No, like you're no, just driving. I, I don't, I, this this other person, uh I don't know. This is like a mini T bird. You're never gonna get it also a okay. very early. Okay. I think I, all right, but then but then behind her is AK. Okay, look at you. Okay. Not AK, okay. but okay. Yeah. Hmm. Don't know who this woman is. That's, yeah. Pass. I saw her recently, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, You're on four? You're doing amazing, yeah. sweetie. Pa <laughs> I'm going to pass again. 
I like this guy. We're getting up more cast pictures. I'm just yeah. So okay. Um, what does her shirt say? It's all good, baby, baby. Oh, wow. <laughs> She didn't think that we'd be uh, looking at this seven years later. Yeah, pass. <laughs> pass. That's fine. Super okay, but there's this Henry. Yeah. Okay. And in front of him is Jericho. Yeah. Okay, that's good. The winner of the season. Yes, and then who could forget right next to him? <laughs> I'm this guy right here. Pass. Um, the reason that's funny is because she she had no edit, but she was like leading in the betting, and I always remember watching with my dad, and he was like. That Odette, she's Odette. good. And I'm like, yes, Dad, yes, I know I, why you're saying that. Stop looking at the Yes, no, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, this the, the old guy in the back, he was the first boot, right? No. But he did get a lot of votes. It was a tie. Maybe okay. you're remembering the Joan Kent, Kent back yeah, and forth okay. of our times. Yeah. Okay. Um, How are you on? Five? Or six with Jericho? Six? Yeah, uh, I think so six. And, then, already... and now this is this is Mark, right? This is, yeah, this is another okay. Another winner. Yeah. Okay. And then uh don't know who this uh curly hair guy is. Okay, of course Luke is here. Eight. And pass. No, not pass. You can do this one, Rob. Mark and Oh, that's uh Mark's Mark's wife. She will become mm -hmm. teacher, Yeah. She... Uh, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I, I also I did not watch the season they came back. Well, you watched the first week, but anyway, yeah, it's fine. yeah, fine, it's fine. What's her name? Sam. Sam, that's right. Okay. What are we on eight, nine? I don't even remember, but you're doing so well. Yeah, pass on this person. That was actual first boot. Okay, and then pass. Hmm. None Don't of these stop. people are ringing a bell. <laughs> Pass. You, I, I want you to do the woman in the middle. She's my guest on Global next week. It's a good plug. Um, she's wearing a Hogwarts hat. Yeah, uh, that um. She has an unusual name. Uh, no. No. Well, who is it? Tessa. That Tessa is a little unusual name. Okay. Yeah. But the next person actually does. does have an okay. Pass. Name. Pass. Biggie Michelle. The, yeah. Name. Pass. Tara came second. Okay. Um. There you go. I mean, I lost count, but I think you got it's like a third of the cast. Yeah. You did well, Sam. Bring up the next season. <laughs> no. It's fine. It's okay. Fine. You did, you did, you did well. You did very yeah. well. Yeah. Look, I, didn't, I, I think you had. You're it. making it seem like I don't like Australian Survivor. No, you do. You're just a casual. Yeah. I like to roast casuals. That's that's fine. Don't gatekeep the Australian Survivor. I'm so gatekeepy. You know I love to gatekeep. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I think gatekeeping is good, actually. Give me a shirt that says that. Gatekeeping is good. Actually, yeah. Okay. So when should I start getting together my medium dive with Kelly? <laughs> She's going to do it for real. Mm -hmm. Stop joking about things that are going to happen. Um, Kelly has left my don't get tempted by his big juicy apple t-shirt with George in my state. But then George is going to America for so long. I'm like, I'm never getting that t-shirt. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a whole thing. But when I eventually get yeah. it. I'm but from what I understand, it. George is going on like a whirlwind tour with Raymond's dad. <laughs> Johnny Family get in touch about that, by the way. Uh, about what? About how we keep saying that he has like a paternity thing going on here. Although apparently he's saying it himself. He's saying it himself. Like we're, we're not breaking any news here. Yeah. Yeah. His name. I mean, I think it, like his name. His last name was Fairplay the whole time. To be fair. Mm hmm. Right? That was a dead giveaway. Yeah, I think they even said that something was fair play in the like final week. I was like, oh, Raymond. <laughs> I will give you one hundred dollars if you mm -hmm. can tell me Raymond's actual last name. I, I, I will, I have no idea. I don't know anybody's last name. I don't yeah. think I could tell you one last name from anybody in Australian Survivor. Ever. I, I, a Danza. <laughs> That's the free square. That's yeah. I, I don't think I know the last name of one player in this season. I mean, I do, but I don't know who. Yeah. I mean, yet. like, and, and I don't think your listeners do either. They do. Well, maybe from social media, you know, I, um, I was thinking about that. It's like, we don't we, like, I mean, last names in Survivor is pretty, like, we don't necessarily anyway, but I was mm -hmm. thinking about that when watching US Survivor was we learned the stories of the contestants. And I was thinking about how Caroline said to Valeria, like, don't, don't say I don't deserve to be here. You know, you don't know me. You don't know my story. And I was thinking like, and we never will. 
You know, like we never found that out. Like we never, no one ever told us anything about that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, about what? About their backstory? Yeah, just about like their story. <laughs> like any, any you, you were missing that. I honestly think I could use a little bit more of like, yeah, getting like I know Caroline's a midwife and a mother. Mm -hmm. She's cool. I want, yeah, like I, I, I really, I, I was more. missing a little bit more of the Valeria story. Well, we found out that she fought a wolf. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and there like, was more of that in the secret scene. She explained that story, and it was yeah. a good story. Okay. She, um, I didn't. Well, I, I definitely. I didn't even know there were secret scenes. Casual. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> the wolf fought yeah. her dog, so then she fought the wolf. You know, Alex got a like U.S. Survivor style story in the secret scene. That's where some of these stories are. He talked about his mother, who'd like gone through mm -hmm. breast cancer. That explained the really smooth tattoo on his chest. So do you, do you think that, do you think the Australian Survivor needs more stories? We could use a little bit more stories. I mean, we have so much time. I could use like a little bit more like, uh, I, you know, I, okay. Valeria, like I got, she was, she's a model. She's Russian, but like, uh, what's like, what's she doing in Australia? She's a dance school owner, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. But what's the story? Yeah. And she fought a wolf. Yeah. Like uh, Raymond in real life. Well, I have no idea what his, is he, is, does he have a job? I think so. He he works in a in like a well, I was gonna say a video store, but I'm starting to really date myself. Video like a, store. <laughs> I yeah, the last Raymond remaining blockbuster. He does, but it's not a video store anymore because those things don't exist. We're not that far back in time in mm -hmm. Australia. So yeah. I miss it. I miss the video stores. You know. Going yeah. Out to I love that. I I TV. just want to run with that. That Raymond works in the video store. He does, but it's like a video game store. Oh, okay. That tracks. Yeah, it's like what the 2024 version of that is. Like, like he does GameStop. do that. Yeah, I did yeah. watch that movie. He he um, like I didn't make that up. Like it tracks because it's true. Yeah, I mean it seems right. Yeah, I made up that thing about Jack earlier. Mm -hmm. The rest has all been true. Okay. I'm not, I'm I mean it. Um, yeah. who else? Well, yeah, do you know? Do we know anything about any of these people actually? But we had a good time. So Mark is a diplomat. Yeah, hey, what's a diplomat though? What a diplomat! He said, "Like, could we? I mean, look, I think we could use Mark uh, in a lot of different places around the world right now." Yeah, but there he is on Survivor. We need more diplomats. Yeah, we do, and he spoke about that a little bit in the deep dive. Yeah, um, yeah, this the space of you know the place for diplomacy, which is really important, even yeah. though I don't really understand it. Um, yeah, we could find out a lot of things about a lot of people. Yeah, but you know, what? I, I I was sad Eden wasn't on the jury. I feel like yeah, he was he, around yeah. for so long, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. see that. I'm like, all right, well, like Mark's probably he's got Eden's vote. I'm like, oh wait, Eden's not even on the jury. <laughs> Where's Eden? Like, Where's you Eden? You removed him yourself. <laughs> like, <laughs> I like, I can't believe he's not on the jury. He made it so far. Yeah, it was right. He got voted out like day thirty or something. Probably later. Yeah, probably mm -hmm. about like day, yeah thirty thirty one. Yeah, that wouldn't you know annoy me if I was an Australian Survivor player, and it's like I played more than an entire U.S. Survivor season, and I'm not even on the jury. Yeah, but it was a nine-person jury. Like, it was a pretty big jury. Mm -hmm. It wasn't yeah. an uneven jury. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. it makes sense. But it was unfortunate. Yeah. It was, yeah. But, yep. Yeah, um, okay, here, bring the cast up one more time. I'll I'll, I'll give my list of uh, my, my favorite characters of the season. Okay, but then we're going to do one more. No. Okay. But just for me and you later. Yeah. Not on the podcast. I just want okay. to know. I, I yeah. really enjoy the stuff. We did it for Big Brother. Who did better? You on an Australian Survivor season, you say you watched, and or me on a Big Brother season, I never watched. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but um, all right, let me. I'll give my my final thoughts on the on the cast. Okay, yeah. can I do that? Okay. Yeah, cool. yeah. Uh, Alex uh, came to really like him over by, by the end of the season uh that i'll never forget him shaving his chest uh <laughs> exactly. was he was he was like simon light uh for yeah. me so mm -hmm. uh liked liked alex he seemed very happy for ferris on twitter i like yeah. that charles uh seemed like a good like a good guy are you going never, through every person yeah well i'll, 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 give, I'll give my quick uh You're like giving the hits all right <laughs> We're going to well, yeah. like if it was a list i could bounce around a little bit more but um not everybody's gonna have something. <laughs> Clearly, yeah. Charles uh, seemed like seemed like he could have been a good player, but like uh, didn't re didn't really get much. Cuddle crew, whatever. Uh, you know, I, I I don't hate the take to bring Frankie back. Uh, okay. <laughs> Eden had like a really big like first and second week 
uh, and then kind of got like lost in the shuffle a little bit. I felt like uh, in between the uh, Mark and Caroline of it all. Um, but seemed like a fun guy. I bet he'll be a great podcast guest. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. Okay. Um, don't uh, we don't need to talk about yeah, yeah, uh, like uh, poor man's re re. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Then. Caroline was Caroline was good. You know what? Honestly, like uh, Caroline, never my favorite character, but you know, I uh, thought that she had an interesting journey over the course of the season. Yeah, and the story we'll never hear. Yep. Uh, well, you you aren't you gonna have a deep dive with her? I'm not gonna get into her story. Like I don't know it's her not story. My like how many hours do you need before you can get to her story? A lot. That's not mm -hmm. what we're here for. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe she'll talk okay. about it. I don't know. I don't decide who talks yeah. about it. Queen Kelly she... was uh incredible. Mm. She was great. She was great. Love Give bring her back. Bring her back. Kitty. Who are you, Kitty? <laughs> they say that she was worth eight figures. Yeah. It's pretty. What does she do? Does anybody know? Yes. Okay, that I know. She's like a famous, like she has like she has brands, but she like has like a health and wellness business that yeah. she started and yeah and she had a, a wild game kitty I, I, nobody could understand it like the one thing we thought we knew she's like okay she's caroline's friend no not really <laughs> i know that's true you're right she did do a lot of perplex perplexing things ending with her final vote mm -hmm. <laughs> i do have a, the question marks i do have are largely around kitty now that you mention it mm -hmm. yeah. yeah okay uh winner was was fine seemed like a nice nice guy Good challenge competitor could have been dangerous if they didn't get him out when he did when they did. Uh, Raymond is is Raymond. <laughs> Look at this. This is why people come yeah. for the takes, Rob. Like, <laughs> Ray you're a, Raymond's gonna Raymond. Yeah, R Rihanna. I like was like I, the biggest. Um, just her and Kitty back to back was perfect. Of the the two people that were just there the whole time. <laughs> at least Rihanna won some challenges. A lot of them. She was pretty strong. She was good. Mm -hmm. She was good. Um, I, 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 although I justice for Rihanna made the dumbest move in Australian survivor history. She was fine. It was, it was funny how she kept voting alone largely for Mark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Garrick was great. Can't imagine how bad that leather jacket smelled after a couple days on the Island. We miss Garrick though. We mm -hmm. love Garrick. We really, yeah. he was really a star of the, the early yeah. days. Yeah. Nate was like a perfect second week boot. Yeah perfect foil he really made that first episode when he was like his downfall he's like yeah. one episode downfall we're like oh we're cooking with some he was, gas he, and was great. In the he was great he talked about that really started yeah. It. well yeah that, that was he was perfect look uh, at the jacket 10 out of 10 no notes his jacket yeah. made it all the way to the end absolutely that was perfect. great i agree perfect television character exactly what we needed from him uh viola gone too soon yeah she'll yeah. come back okay valeria was great underrated she, I, I, the only thing I, I didn't mind the, the whole like Raymond popcorn idol thing. The only thing I hated was that Valeria went out on that. It felt like that, that she should have gotten a better exit. All right. I wish it would have been like, oh yeah. The, the popcorn idol got out Rihanna. Yeah. Yeah. I'm you know, that up. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Mark. I really enjoyed Mark. I feel like that Mark did get lost in the shuffle a little bit, like in the, like the mid uh, merge. Uh, like he was such a big part of the pre merge and then he came in and then um, in sort of like, uh, I feel like, uh, and, and maybe this is, um, I, I was like really expecting uh, Mark to have like a little bit more. I feel like that he got like a little bit lost in the, the uh, you know, what uh, Kirby and Ferris were doing at times, but, uh that totally then by the end of the season i was like oh look at mark he's right there he's gonna win but uh yeah. you know it seemed like uh, place, yeah really good player uh liked liked a lot of what he did kirby we've I haven't talked about kirby a lot in this uh podcast but kirby was like a really really great player you know uh that her and ferris are the dynamic duo she would have smoked ferris um think that maybe it would have been like seven to two in the final two against uh ferris and kirby so she'll definitely play again right yeah she's probably playing right now i mean come on <laughs> so they bring her back yeah yeah 
And then um, the, the people that are on the end, uh, the only one I want, care to talk about is Eileen, who uh, I've said and before. Ferris. Thought, oh, I didn't see Ferris on the bottom. Yeah, because he <laughs> doesn't look like Ferris. Young Ferris. Yeah. This is he like Ferris's him. son. <laughs> he looks like 15 years younger in the start of the game. I guess so. <laughs> this is like teenage Ferris. Yeah. yeah. I mean... Look, uh, what else can we say about Ferris? Yeah. Hello. Um, have you ranked Ferris in your in your podcasting of like all time greatest uh, Australian Survivor players? Have oh, you done Australia? that? Oh, of of winners, yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. We did at the very end. Um, we okay. have them high up, obviously, but okay, spoiler greatest alert. Australian Survivor winners, you know. Mm -hmm. so, um, but yeah, he's in a in an exclusive group. He did a lot of really great things. What did you think about the move with Raymond with the idol at the final five? Yeah, I thought that was pretty wild. Um, I'm surprised more people haven't done that. Yeah, it was so creative. You, mm -hmm. you missed Eileen when I went to Ferris. Sorry, you were going to say Yeah, I, I, no, I, I, I've talked about Eileen before. I, I, I thought Eileen was was great. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that the good thing about, you know, that Ferris had was that he just had, like, such a stool pigeon in Raymond, like, such a henchman that, like, uh, that was, like, an extra vote for him, like, the whole way. So good on... Ferris for like fostering that like not many people would have that yeah Raymond was a gift he thought he could beat Ferris so he was going all the way to the end with Ferris and mm -hmm. he um he would be yeah, super super loyal to the cause ended up going and fire for it as the third right hand that Ferris lost but you know what mm -hmm. Ferris is you know why Ferris won I said this why? on the draft sparkly person that's what yep. it is mm -hmm. a lot eight times out of ten probably more the survivor winners they're the kind of person you meet where you'd be like I would want to give you much money. Sparky <laughs> person. That's what it was. That's yeah. who Ferris is. That's why he won. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. That's, that's the formula. Yeah. Okay. For all of your drafts. That's it. Look who's Sparkly. Sure. Yeah. Okay. How about your US uh, survivor draft? You feeling good? You a hunter number one? Yeah. You still feel good? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Wait, you're, look, not, you're I, not feeling it. I don't know. I think I think it could. I think it could go well. Um, yeah. It could, yeah, it could it could go well. I um, I, I think you should feel pretty. Be feeling pretty good. Who then? But then, who are your other picks? Do people like when we talk about your survivor? We're gonna get complaints. Um, my we're, we're gonna get complaints an hour into the finale check-in if we talked about US. But like, uh, you know what? When they looked at pictures of the old cast, that was great. But then it they talked really about great. Shannon's draft and then and then uh, one star. Yeah, I heard your draft drive by <laughs> on me with Mary Ann, by the way. Um, I didn't even mean it. It was just cool. too perfect. She was like, Shannon's good at everything. And you're like, well, not the draft. Mean and rude. Incredibly rude. Man, what if I win the draft, though? Who do you have? Oh, well, I have a totally active team. Uh, my draft team Thanks. is um, Tiffany, Charlie, and Liz. Damn, that's looking great. Your team's looking awesome. Not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, I have. So I have Hunter, Q, and Tim. So Tim's like, I feel mm -hmm. like that's done. Um, from yeah. an edit perspective, I don't think that. Well, I don't know. Who knows? But I'm not, not feeling uh, that Q's going to be the winner either. I don't know. Q's okay. Mm -hmm. I like I like what Q's been doing. Um, he's not in a great spot necessarily, but yeah. And then Hunter. Has been as you know as described the golden boy. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Your team looks good though. Been uh, as advertised, Hunter. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Delivered exactly what okay. I wanted from him. So what's yeah. what's next for you, Shannon? So deep dives. Then are you gonna unwind at some point? Do you have any downtime scheduled? I'm going to Canada. Yes. Yeah. That's exciting. Anne's wedding. Yeah. And then I'm going to the U.S. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be in. Disneyland. Yeah. New York. So is that unwinding? I don't know. That's my gift from me to me. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm doing that. Until then, you know, deep dives and everything. So there's a lot to do before then. Okay. All right. Um, well, yeah. look, you're in the right place. You know where to find all of the deep dives with the person who's at the center of the world's most popular reality TV franchise, Australian Survivor. You're going to say the world's most popular survivor, but you went even further than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Australian survivor approval rating, what? 99.9 .9 out of 100? 
it's it's doing very well. Mm -hmm. It's really, it's it's <laughs> this might be the highest ever. So mm -hmm. even last season, people were like, yeah, but like yeah. George is kind of polarizing. But this season, I feel like everyone's on. Honestly, board. I think what you need is you need Andy Heron off the the squad because I feel like that the, the people that are gonna like want that want smoke with Andy Heron, I think, are gonna try to drag down Australian Survivor. But they don't. Like even no one did. No, no, not one person was like, it's not that. Not one. I was like, I followed what happened. Not one person was like, you know, no, mm -hmm. Australian was not that good in all yeah. the responses. So that just shows. Mm -hmm. that it's good, so. Yeah, it's been great. All right, well, Shannon, you've done it again. Congratulations on another season in the books, and then for the rest of. 2024 i think it, well let's see what happens with any uh international survivor do we do we know is there another uk season on the horizon i don't think it's looking incredible mm. there were applications open and then they stopped being open okay so i don't know uh, i don't i don't know because um, then we'd start like could could survivor uk 2024 uh be australian survivor 2017 which is a season you remember and mm -hmm. you've proven it yeah. Proven it too. Now, um, could I name eight yeah. people from Survivor UK? That's a good question. Last Peg podcast lag. we <laughs> last podcast we said you could name Chris four, I think. Or, yeah. Could you Nathan? Yeah, that's one of the, and then Matthew. And that's the four. Could you do one more? One more Australian or you Survivor UK person? Because I remember this, the name of the cast uh, or the show. Uh, Nothing's coming to mind. But when they did that blind side on Jack, now that yeah, was Jack, yeah, no, Jack had it coming. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Rob. Yeah, you, you could do four. And I knew exactly which four. I know you, I'm in your head. I'm like, I read you like a book, you know? Yes. Yes. Mm. Okay. Sorry to the women of Survivor UK. <laughs> Leilani. Yep, that was a person. Tanuke. Tanuke. Yeah. I mean, if you say the names, they, yeah. I mean, they I can tell you. Like, yeah. I mean, there's some people like that you mentioned that I'll say, I've never heard that name before, but yeah, those were Survivor UK people. All right. Shannon is found on social media. There are two different okay. Rachels. Are you, are you talking about US Survivor this week also? Yes. Well, I wasn't going Shannon, to. Shannon, love yourself. It's fine. I, well, I, I was, I was going to, I was going to skip this week, but what happened was, I was going to do last week and then skip this week because I've got hours of deep dives to do this weekend. But then last week I was really sick and I had to cancel Taryn like at the time we were recording because I was like, I have a fever and yeah. I can't do this. So I moved Listen. it to this week because I thought we'd get a vote. But as as somebody who cares deeply about you and Taryn, do it next week. But I have nothing Essa O'Halloran as my guest next week. Who? From 2017. She was in the whole quartet. Okay. So just, I had that I have that book. Just push it, just push it back. There's nothing, there's nothing to say for you and Taryn this week. I'll find something. I won't have anything to say. Listen, I, I know, I know both of you that for the listeners, we're we're begging you. Next next week will be a great episode for you two to talk about. There's nothing. There the, the my two, my strategy king and queen. This is not the week for you to talk. Very sweet. Um, there's some strategic. I, I'll start a group text with me, you, and Taryn and say, listen, I strongly advise just do this next week. With that ringing endorsement, I can't, Rob. I have another guest next week and then I'm going to Canada. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's not about that, okay? The pet peeves were released. We're mostly going to talk about the pet peeves. I just feel like that the pet peeves are going to be you and Taryn saying, like, I don't like it when there's not a vote. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't. Okay. How many podcasts do you have about these weeks? But look, I, I have to. I'm so glad you you want me to give the list. I'm a public servant. But you're right? doing so much. You're doing so much. And I know I, I know like the best spots to put everybody in. And I'm telling you, you and Taryn talking next week after we did or like are in a post Banu world. That's the sweet spot. I Taryn and I will have a fun, zippy podcast mm -hmm. about a very... There might be strategic layers you haven't considered. Okay. Have you considered that? I can't even... Mm -hmm. I can't even begin to think what one could even fabricate. That's, That's what I'm saying. On That's Jack. What I'm saying. Yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. 
Um, we got to wrap this up. Okay, Shannon. Uh, great job all season long. Uh, I'm so proud of the work that you continue to do. How was, I didn't get to see, how was the finale of Talking Tribal? We had fun. Was George going nuts for Ferris? He was happy. Yes. We were all happy. You know, the crab said that Fer Ferris would win. Mm hmm There's a crab. We chewed with a psychic crab. It's an electronic crab. And then we get it to go around on the pictures. And it didn't show it because it only showed us doing it once. We did it twice. Both times it chose Ferris. Out of what? Out of how many people? Out of the top five in okay. the penultimate week. Mm -hmm. And it chose Ferris twice. And then I yeah. asked if I could have the crab. And they did not give me the crab. Imagine it chose Raymond. You would know instantly. <laughs> Defective thing. crab. Defective no. crab. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No. Thank you so much for joining us. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.